The VertiShore system is a compact, lightweight shoring unit ideal for supporting relatively shallow trenches up to 2.1 metres deep by 1.6 metres wide in good, stable ground without any groundwater present. The units are designed to be used for short-term applications and are installed intermittently along the trench at approximately 1.2 metre centres without any trench sheeting. The unit is quickly and easily installed and removed from a pre-dug trench at ground level by one person working in the safest place, which is at ground level. It is essential for the supervisor to be familiar with the equipment by first reading thoroughly the user guide supplied with the higher documentation. The VertiShore units will be delivered to site, built up and ready to use together with the installation kit which consists of a removal hook, a release tool, a hand pump and a single delivery hose. The VertiShore units themselves comprise of two aluminium rails held apart by two hydraulic cylinders which can be supplied in a variety of sizes, which are interconnected by a length of hose. All ground force hydraulic equipment will have a pre-hire inspection tag attached. On one side of the tag there's a hydraulic ram operating instructions, and on the other side are details of the pre-hire test the equipment will have undergone. The installation commences by marking out the extents of the trench. It is good practice to define the edges of the trench by staking down some suitable guide boards. Once this is marked out, digging commences, regularly checking during the dig that the trench dimensions are correct and the sides are vertical. The VertiShore units and installation equipment are positioned suitably to hand, ready to be installed into the trench. It is assumed that the operator is familiar with the workings of the pump, which is the subject of a separate toolbox talk. At this stage, remove the protective caps on the male and female couplings on the VertiShore rams and hose. Attach the hose to the male coupling on the ram and the other end to the coupling on the pump block. It is essential that this coupling is made correctly for successful fluid flow to be achieved. There are two tools that will be needed during the installation and removal process. They are a removal hook and a release tool. This film will demonstrate the correct time and manner to use each tool. Using the release tool on the handle nearest to you and the other hand on the opposite handle, lift the unit in a scissor-like motion and lower until the unit is in the correct position. Release the handle to allow the unit to unfold into the trench, repositioning as necessary to ensure the cylinders are horizontal. The pump is now operated to expand the cylinders. As the VertiShore starts to push up against the trench, resistance is felt and the pressure gauge on the pump will start to rise. The units need to be pressurised to between 500 and 1000 psi depending on ground conditions. Once the desired pressure is reached and the pressure gauge is steady, it is simply a matter of releasing the hose to complete the installation. This is done by placing the release tool through the handle on the rail and behind the collar on the hose coupling and by pulling the top of the tool in a levering action towards you. The coupling will now spring free. Withdraw the hose from the excavation, keeping it as clean as possible and release the pressure by moving the lever on the pump. Repeat the process for installing additional units which should be at a maximum of 1.2 metres horizontal centres. The ends of the trench should be battered back to reduce the risk of falling material. When all the units are in place, connect the loose end of the hose to the other coupling on the pump to keep it clean and reduce the risk of damage. The excavation is now safe to work in. Using the release tool, Insert it through the handle and locate it on the pressurised valve. Place the removal hook on the opposite handle. Push the cup on the release tool sharply against the valve whilst pulling backwards on the removal hook, releasing just enough shoring fluid to allow the cylinders to contract and the unit to be removed. Close the VertiShore by pulling the opposite rail up towards you in a scissor motion and safely remove the units from the trench. Repeat this on any other units in the trench. Stack all units safely along with all the components and the trench can now be backfilled in accordance with the specification for the works.
Please observe the following points. Only use in stable ground. Only use for short-term support. Ensure all personnel are appropriately trained. Perform an appropriate risk assessment prior to use. Inspect the equipment regularly. Take care to protect the Vertishore unit from accidental strikes, concrete accumulation, etc. Use the correct release tools as supplied by Ground Force. Do not work in unsupported trenches. Do not overpressurize the RAM units. Only use shoring fluid supplied by Ground Force. Do not attempt to remove the Vertishore without releasing the pressure. Do not suspend or store materials on the Vertishore units. Thank you.